Hi y'all, welcome back. Uh, today, believe it or not, uh, it's been a long while since I've done an update. Uh, the reality of the homestead has taken over and I've not been out here as much as I've wanted to be. So uh, let's take a look at it uh, real quick and see how things are going. Okay, so I was able to get some of the mulching and cleanup done, uh, but it's been a while since that was done. Um, going to be propagating these raspberries and blackberries that are still in the walkway. Still need to get this area over here cleaned up. Okay, so the sweet potatoes are still doing great. Okay, the Malabar spinach is about to go to seed. They've got such beautiful, dainty flowers there. Okay, and as you see, the grass has officially taken over. I need to prune that rosemary. The squash has been suffering. It was doing good. Uh, got some dry weather and it started suffering. I was unable to get out here and tend to it. The weeds are still somewhat at bay over here in this area we mulched. All right, and then we have the lima beans are doing really well. The beans are really starting to come in now. All right, here is the kale. Um, in my absence, it's just died on me, okay? And this unknown plant has about seen better days as well. I'll be out here. We're going to be doing some cleanup. Uh, things have settled down around here, so we will be doing cleanup. The blackberries are just going crazy. I do believe I will be getting this variety here out of the bed for sure um, it's just not doing as well as the other one so we'll be getting rid of that all right so here is the garden there let's go over here and look at the blueberries All right, here are the blueberries. <coughs> the weeds have taken over here, but the blueberries here are doing good. The squash is still growing. The sweet meat squash is still growing. The, ra the blueberries are doing pretty good. This one here in the corner is not doing so well. These two here, they're not growing as well as the other two or the other three, excuse me. So, and as you can see, there's lots of weeds and needs to do a lot of cleanup. The ducks are growing fast. So, all right, let's go over here. The Cavendish banana is doing really good. It's looking nice. To me, it looks better than the ice cream banana. All right, and we did plant the watermelon. Um, it has really taken off. Um, and I'm not sure if my tay berries made it because they died back. I'm hoping they'll come back again, but we shall see. All right, so we do have watermelon in there. I think there's about four watermelon in here. And the watermelon has about taken over this area this is the orange glow watermelon it is looking good I can't wait to try that I love watermelon all right here is the ice cream banana it's a lot smaller and it's not as green as the cabin dish over there but we're gonna see what happens as you see it's got some yellowing so we're going to 
see what we can do about fixing that. Here are the pineapples. They're still doing well. All right, and I have not shown this. This is one of my favorite trees. It's loquat or Japanese plum. I love this tree. I'm so glad it's doing so well. So, glad to see that. So we have got some positives going on over here. <coughs> and got to get the chickens moved. All right, oh, let's go over here. All right, so here is the corn and the tomatoes. Weeds have also taken over the tomato area. Unfortunately, we didn't get enough of the roots out of there for those wild trees and the uh, briar. So they have come back with a vengeance. So we'll be doing the cleanup on that. Um, I did not get out here to fertilize my corn uh, the way I needed to. Again, the we had homestead issues, so um, we had to deal with that. But the corn has got tassels and it has some silk. So we have tassels and we do have silk and we have a beetle. Yay. <laughs> so um, through the challenges of the homestead, it doesn't look like things have gone too wrong for us. Uh, could be better, could be worse. Um, we've lost the cucumbers. Uh, we did get a few off of those. The tomatoes on this is still going. The ones that we left, the basil looks good. Okay, here is the basil. It's just sweet basil. We've been using basil on tomatoes. So we have been getting some nice peppers as well. The jalapenos are still going strong. As well as the okra. The kids love okra. So it's still hanging in there as well. And I... Oh man, I just seen this. This must have happened yesterday. I hate to see that. Had some tomatoes on there. So... But I do believe I'm going to have to tie this up. It is officially reached above the trellis there. So, and again, here is another cucumber. I did plant, I thought I planted the same variety of cucumber, but this one here is a pickling cucumber. And that one down there was a, a burr plus cucumber. So I don't know how that happened, but I only remember planting one variety, but I could have planted two. That's what happens when we lose the tags. Good morning, chickens. Spaghetti squash and the butternut squash. Um, we've been able to pick a few, but we've had some pests that took over in my absence. We have vine borers and we had um, pickle worms take over the squash area here. Um, the banana peppers never really did all that great. Um, not sure why if I overpowered them with the uh, squash or what happened, but and again we had a lot of damage in my absence, so let's see. But we did have some success. So, we've had some good things happen and some bad things happen. Here's the squash still. So we do have some squash that's still on there. So, not a complete failure. And it looks like it's still going. We have some young squash in there. So we have young butternut squash in there. I think this black plastic has had, or this black tarp here has had something to do with 
um, the demise of the butternut there. Um, not to a whole lot of damage, but it did suffer and it died back, but it's put on some new growth. So, um, but the black tarp here is for uh, Dave's project that he's working on. Okay, um, we're going to wade through the weeds because the weeds have officially taken over and go out here and check on the fruit trees real quick. So, as you can tell, in my absence, everything has just really taken over. So, um, it's unfortunate, but I feel like I've taken a few steps back. But, um, and then this area is really overgrown. Um, I should have cleaned it up a little better, and I didn't. So, but the trees are looking great. The weeds look great, too. <laughs> Uh, the trees are looking great. That was the lemon. And here's a tangerine. Okay, and this tangerine over here, apparently we got too much water at one time, and it just busted. So, I hate to see that, but it's going to have to come off of there. But at least I know we got a fruit. Yay. And again, here is the other lemon, Meyer lemon. And here is the pink variegated lemon. So, so a lot of cleanup still to go. All right, let's walk out here to the pear trees. I did lose the plum that was over there. And I think I said it was a Santa Rosa before. It's actually a methley plum. So, but here are the pear trees and they're looking good. I'm going to have to cut them back. All right, this one here has put on a lot of new growth. It's also got some growth at the bottom. I'm hoping I can keep that at bay. If not, I'm going to have to remove this tree because I don't want that happening and having some root stock growing as well but this pair here looks really nice there's no root stock because these here are grafted so and I don't want the tree growing from the root stock so I hope that changes all right so that is all of the wins and the loses out here in the garden um, been a lot of neglect and as you see what happens with neglect we have to stay on top of it but life does get in the way sometimes and we just have to bear with it and do the best we can so let's go check on those chickens i'm kind of almost embarrassed to show you but i said i would share everything with you so Let's go check out the chickens. Okay, so we're out here at the chickens, and I did do some weeding out here, kind of some cleanup, and um, since the last time, it has definitely been growing back. Uh, I've not been able to win for losing around here uh, lately. And we have vines growing I did not want growing up there. So I've definitely got to take care of that. Um, again, this pen has just become overgrown. I'm going to try to get in there and clean it up some so I can get uh, our other chickens in there. We're going to be redoing this top here so um, we can get some chickens in here and keep the predators at bay. So that's what's going on with this pen. And then we have this pen over here. As you see, it is still growing ridiculous with the weeds. I'm going to get out there and get those vines out of the top. Um, at least get them cut so they can be dying back and I can get them out of there. So, but as you see, the chickens have plenty of weeds to hide in out here now. Um, but I'm going to be doing some cleanup out here. And getting this taken care of. Okay, for Miss Frizzle, 
she still has a naked bum. Uh, we've been keeping her in here to keep her protected, but as you see, she still has not grown her feathers. I don't know. I'm so disappointed about that. But we're going to be bringing her a friend out here soon, so that way she won't feel so lonely. So, and as you can see, the other chickens have definitely allowed that out there to over, be overgrown. Okay, guys, so um, as you can see, the struggle's been real, and um, there's not a whole lot you can do about it when life happens. It just happens. Um, you just have to deal with it and move forward. So, unfortunately, we've had some good things and some bad things happen around here, and... Um, more bad than good, but I'll take the good and stay positive. All right, guys, as you can tell, things can go wrong real quick on the homestead, and it doesn't take long. But we're going to catch up eventually. Um, we've had some rain, so that's going to help us. So don't get discouraged by the negatives on the homestead. Let's stay positive and keep moving forward. And until next time, guys, happy homesteading.